If you hear anybody say, that person is responsible, that man is responsible, that woman is responsible, that boy, that girl, that child is very responsible. What is the meaning of that statement? We can say useful, has, you know, positive way of responding to things, nice, can do chores, he takes responsibility, is the kind of a person that when you give him anything to do, maybe a job to do, he does it excellently well. That is saying the person is responsible. One of the attributes of a responsible person, which I'm still intentional about attitude in this episode, sincerely, attitude is everything. Attitude is everything in life. Crisis, problems, failure, success, everything is all about attitude. Attitude determines altitude. Attitude determines heightitude. Attitude determines everything you are destined to be and become. From our contemporary life, if you listen to great people, what brought them to where they are is their attitude. Listen to poor people. Nobody should be poor, actually. Listen to them talk. It's all about attitude. Listen to someone that is going somewhere, probably still in an embryonic state, or stage of his or her life, where you hear them talk, what comes out from their mouth tells you if they are going to go further, faster in life. And this all is encapsulated in an attitude. Attitude is everything. One of the powerful attitude is to take responsibility, to accept mistakes, take responsibility, knowing fully well that I'm not perfect, my attitude can be wrong, I can do better, I can change. Today, I want you to sit down to ask yourself, all these bad attributes or attitudes that is in me, is it possible for me to change? Can I work on myself? Can I become someone that will be responsible? As I have explained what responsibility means. Can I have a good attitude? Can an attitude be changed? If you refuse to change, you'll be chained. You refuse to change in your marriage. You refuse to change in raising your children. You are just a kind of a person that is one-way traffic. As you they go, you they go. You are not bending. You are not flexible. You are not working on yourself. You are not changing. You'll be chained. I don't know if you have met some old people that are always on the spot. They don't want to change. Grandpa, grandma, mommy, my daddy, my mommy. She can't change. That's why they are chained. They are chained financially. Let me give you an example. You are a doctor, sir. Daddy, grandpa, you are a doctor. You send your son or your daughter to the medical school, your child chose your vocation to be a medical doctor. The child came out excellently well. The graduation, you spent so much, bring your friends, I'm a mother of a doctor, I'm a father of the doctor. You were so, so happy, excited about your son or your daughter's achievements. 
in becoming a medical doctor after the graduation house job nyc your child and say dad or mom we have to improve in your hospital business let's do it this way let's change the setting let's paint the hospital let's get a better staff let's not use only auxiliary auxiliary are important but let's get people let's pay them well let's go for international bodies let's go for corporate bodies to give us patients and your child just comes in with so much excitement and enthusiasm thinking now i can help my daddy his job must be great i must help my mommy her job must be better and what you said is, stop it. Stop it. You better shut up. Is it not this business that you are telling me that is not good, that sent you to school and made you to be a doctor? You just killed change. You killed zeal. You killed zest. You kill enthusiasm in the lives or in the life of your child who came with passion to help you to work on yourself meaning that you choose not to change then you are chained your business is chained your relevance is chained because you refuse to change my name is Olufunke Adetuberu. This is She Matters on Fresh FM 105.3, Lagos, Center of Excellence. On behalf of Dr. Nikadjoe Laifele, the father of Fresh FM Worldwide Nigeria, I celebrate everyone listening to us in Lagos, 105.3, Fresh FM Lagos. I have been saying some things about attitude, and I said something now that if you refuse to change you'll be chained daddy grandpa doctor grandpa lawyer grandpa engineer grandma grandma lawyer grandma doctor grandma engineer i have female engineers hear me now if you refuse to change you'll be chained God gave you children so that you can be current. You are not in the world. You don't know what is happening out there because you are old. Hello, me. Agbalagba Limino. A fe bode mu ninu ishetan she ta anu a won mo wa lo she eje sare so yoruba tori pe mo ti so yin bogan tele nkan ti mo nso ni wipe ta ba ti ko lati change ama wa loju kan na ni amo ya won to je pe ise iran se won ise owo omo owo omo ati lo jina 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 ka ni won ni okan lati so pe mo fe yi pada mo fe se better i want to do it differently i want to become a better person rigidity is an energy of a fool bai mo se ma se ke yan kan ri mole ko fa ke kori ko ka gidi bori mi ni so tori gbogbo awon idu lo ngbo mi ako lati fe yi pada ama wa loju kan na ni mo ti ri en to je pe she matters ni eto your husband has told you my dear let's do it this way iro o hey eh bi mo se ma se nkan mi ni e wo bo mi ni oro ti o lo gbon lori ni e ja so toro fun rawa ko sen to mo ton ko sen to gbon ton oluwa lo pe oluwa lo mo mo ti ri eni to je pe omo bibinu e o lati fi serun se le fun ni o lo se mi tori pe kini 
ko se bo se e ko se ngba to ba pe re ran se olohun te pe gbogbo omo ojo lo ti ka la so soke seyin omo to de mo bi to nlo a child that does not want to die in the accident of his father he will excuse himself and tell you ma ran is your own you on your own he omo mi e ko ba mi sise mi a be sise ngba to ti so 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 yawe o mo se omo e na o tun mo se iwo ni ko lo mo se ma ba yi if you are hearing me today and you are the kind of a person that just chose not to change you are rigid in your ways <laughs> you are going to be chained and it's paining me because life would have been half spent before people wake up and say ye kini mo se ki lo de ojo ma ti lo mo ma ti darugbo mi o ma le se kebe 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 mo se nse mo mo se nse tele you have lost it you have missed it privileged opportunities <laughs> has eluded you ah <sighs> i've seen parents wa ran mo e lo si lo yin bo lo kawe e ti a ja fi lo yin bo le wa lo si ran lo si university mo ti so tele mo tun tun so ni o o mo pe a je nikan lo ma ni ko mo ma ju nlo osho nikan lo ma ni ko mo ma ju nlo gbogbo eyan lo fe fi ise rere lo mo lowo o de wa sise i sise i ah ti ti o ba fun omo elaye sheri akara te ndin legbe titi yen boli ate pa te nta yen omo yin le ba yin change si another level the same akara the same boli ate pa you can come in another way because the reason why your child went to school mo mo pa won ko mo ba wile ni o toro ti ndi janu ebi won ya ti pa yin ti awon mo ti pa yin ti oko ti pa yin ti yawo ti pa yin ti ba o le o se ma se nkan o se for years ko yato ah ah o de tun so pe be lo se ma se lohun lo titi nkan mi wa nbe this a personality problem you need therapy i beg your child will not bring an idea to ye to ba ti de ba wa ni omo eni kon so pe aya de ti be ro omo yin mo ni ah o le gan fi se lomo lowo ka to wa so pe se run se if you don't understand hmm? you will be on the spot you be stuck you will collect loan you will almost use those children as a collateral because you refuse to change change is possible bad attitude can change or the attitude not lashi wow i'm not going to take calls today i need to get this knowledge into us you know why nko ti mo ri inu gbogbo nko ti awon oko ati yawo ton pari wole lori o na ni attitude everything is attitude 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 ko si nkan mi attitude ni and your attitude determines your high attitude your attitude determines your high attitude mo mo so le mi jini o and your attitude determines your altitude ko se ni na ti o je nkan gidi laye ti o je wi pe iwa to n se o yi pada ko se ni na bi be ko akon ma joko soju kan na ni elumi awa ma lo ri oke a ma gbadura esu ko lo n se wa awon mi mo ni mo ma so fa won to wa lo yin bo pe you have traveled abroad travel in broad e bo sinu e travel sinu yin ke wo bi te ti miss ye attitude is everything mo ti ran weyan to je pe bo n se wa yen ti won ba le change ah aye won ma daju bo se wa lo oh my god <laughs> e ma wo won bae e ma fi won yan gan ni tori pe kini mo fe keko mo so nkan kan mi mo moment to ponder ni awon eran ko ti a le keko lara won eye idi wa nbe 
Amoteku Wambe. Eh, Kini Wambe. You can learn from an antelope. You can learn from an ant. You can learn from a tiger. You can learn from an eagle. You can learn from an elephant. Iru. You can learn from an ant. Toyonu lo ewo ole. Ki ye si shere ki o si bon. If you refuse to change, you are going to be changed for life. If you refuse to change, you are going to be changed. Change ya to si change you. Muti sofu yin. Somebody said, hey, where there's no vision, the people perish. Eh, eh. Where there is no vision, people change perish. Mwa jakpa. Can you imagine? This is she matters. And your current thing, Bomi. I want Kurilo man saban le paju. No man ego. Most of the time, I want Kurin. To the pekini, they believe is a sign of weakness. If their wife or their children are correcting them, they would think, ah, if my if my wife, if my children are telling me that uh, this thing I'm doing is not good, they would think I'm weak. Ah. It's not the sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. By the time you get out there and things are well with you, things are doing well with you, your business is thriving, they are bringing innovation, they are bringing ideas. Talo mamo kwento she. Kondi se to mamo kwento she. E yin na ni baba. E yin la gbo gofun. The moment you refuse to allow change, to allow people around you, to affect what you are doing positively. When the shame comes, they will change. They will go. There was a man. His name is Foolish, Mr. Foolish. He now married a woman called Beauty and Brain, Abigail. This man, he will never listen to anybody. How do you live with a man that is only himself that is right? Nobody else is right. That is scary. That is scary. He's never wrong. Tebani koto shele uda ani kilo sawe talo kilo sawe koda talo sawe koda adabu bwe runi. One day he was in the battlefield. He was going through a lot, and he just needed a comfort, a little bit of respite for his men because they were running for Saul. And Absalom, a lot of things were going on in the life of David at the time. And they just needed help. And David has been a blessing to Nabal before, Mr. Foolish before. He just went to him and said, ah, tell them to give us food. We are starving. Hey, Mr. Foolish said, laye, laye. You know, I pity people and I really pity them sincerely. People that does not look for Things. Let me put it this way. I want to see okay, why the Ongbogbo Daju Kanto conclude is a height of foolishness to assume, find out, ask questions, simple and straightforward. It is unwise to look at a situation, look at the circumstances, and just say something negative without prying deep. Into that situation, you are goni. Ko king ko kon shelle or ko ring ko kon ko de sope bocheri niye. Oh de wadi. Oh wadi umbo goda ju ko di ton she odo do mushi shi. Ah, boche man she niye. That was what neighbor said to David. Ah, talo my help and oton sakulo lodo gawo. Oh mon koto shelle ni. Olo maje ki oro loro konfi bai lo mi leti. Akoma agboromo. Be aware that she go by. Chai only wala de. Do you know that David would have killed four hundred men that day because of neighbor's reaction? <laughs> Abigail bossy kitchen new. Oh, make cake for hundreds of men. There were two hundred men precisely. Oh, make cake if you want. I do not know. Tomanta bread la du bokan. Oh no bakery o kinjake o badu. Muti wa ni office miti wa legbe bakery. Ah. 
our bread in your mama tasson sonny. How can you cook <laughs> for two hundred men? Make cakes for them, and you will not smell it. If you refuse to change, you'll be chained. If you refuse to change, you'll be changed. Two hundred men. Abigail cooked, packaged the food, go and kneel down be begging at David Joe. If you overheard it, you are hearing me today, you overheard it from your wife or your husband or your children. Change now. Be sorrow ye. Ma ye pada now 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 now. Because you'll be chained or you are changed. Guess what? <laughs> she gave the food to David and his men. Started begging David. He's a foolish man. Mo come back, baby, mo manage ye ni. Mo wo jato lo ma yo mi kuro no a jaga yi. Mo sha lo bebe. Mo ba to tun bebe ton. She mo ti iru obe ni ye bo she dele to ni a my dear. Ah, I've stood in the gap o. I've begged for you o. Please honey. Eh wo, ah, David o ma ri be. Mi fe kon wak pa bo gbe yon wak pa wano, wak pe mi no. I've saved the situation. Who hugs his wife? Who say, ah, ya wo mi o she. Ah, ya re re ni e o she mo du pe, thank you. Eh, o ju mi fo ni. It's an oversight, I'm sorry. Thank you, darling. Le jen fwen check 50,000. Kou lo fi ran, koto ba fe. Eh, mon koti, o she le si ne ba. I bi nou e rousso ke. He was angry. <laughs> Anger out thou, but you have joke on Mama Soroni by being no no delay. But Kisheni, guess what? He was angry, and he had a stroke, and he died. Ah, hey, me see the way being no bad and rely me. Angry, and had a stroke. Now some people have insinuated that Abigail was the one that prepared the room and wanted David to marry her, blah, blah, blah. It's not true. If she was going to destroy him at the back, mess up the relationship, or wanted him to be killed, number one, she wouldn't have mediated to go and cook for David's men. Number two, she wouldn't go back to tell her husband that, ah, my dear, I have stood in the gap. I've helped, you know, to make up for the fact that the servant of David was going to come back and kill everybody and react to everything. You know, she wouldn't have said that. Koni lo bebe. Kodro la ni meji koni ya, my dear. Hey, joy, ma binu o. Muti lo be David. Tori pe kini, ah. Mi fe ki yo wak pa gbo gbo wa ati a wong mo ati di le wa. Koni kpa da lò so so ko. Fe fi yo be e yi jè. O ko e lè yi. Ko de fe she wik pe. Ki David fe yon. O kon lò be be ni. O de so fun pe o mo pe David o ba lò la ni yo. To ba sha ti da fun ko mag ba gbe yon. To rik pe. Ibi to yon jo ko si ko da. Listen to me. You refuse to change, you'll be changed. That's the point I'm making here. People will leave you. If you refuse to change, you'll be changed. It's a lot of sacrifice and a lot of work to stay with a person that is not ready to change the attitude. And that is where we go into a narcissistic personality disorder is a mental illness for you to be doing the same thing the same way and you expect a different result. It's not possible. Only a fool does that. And that is neighbor for you. See, Abigail came to neighbor and discussed with him and neighbor's heart was merry with him and he was drunk. When she told him, he didn't say anything in the morning. Ah uh ah. -uh. When the wife has told him, what happened? 
he died within him and he became a stone abigail ya so pe tolon ba ti konde eni ota eni honi ko le pa ni mo that was how abigail switched please change a bad attitude can change if you are a man you are listening to me today the men college of ministry we are resuming on the 21st of october 2023 this institution will change you in and out do you know as a man you are the pilot as a man you are the captain as a man you are the driver you can't afford to drive your family into a place where you will regret please as an 18 year old boy the men college of ministry is for you you fail to prepare you prepare to fail as an old man the men college of ministry is for you at least you can learn how not to pass the baton to your children to your generation the courses are powerful how to purge your family tree how to take your life back from mental emotional psychological financial struggle how to father fathering and being emotionally stable hmm. how do you understand a woman ah oh is <laughs> deep that course is going to change your life as a man the last one we had men they gave me a word they were blessed you'll be blessed you'll be happy ah many things oh i don't want to say much ah oh my leo my bono i won't call i'm gonna be written your community in bed it's quite quite the grand side men college of ministry luma dying low 21st of october lama resume the number to text to whatsapp or to call please don't call because everything is going to be documented whatsapp voice note text message we're going to answer you that number is 090 20 10 10 i apologize i'm not picking calls today but if you know that <laughs> you are actually stuck what is swear one is show by the be you of a yoni. You have gotten to the end of your rope. You are tired. You are fed up. You want a change of life, a change of attitude. You are changed. You are changed. Your story can still be rewritten. There is no human being that is permanently stuck if you are willing to change. Baoku ise otan eni to ba ku nikan ni o le yi pada to ba fe yi pada awon kan ni ah ara kunrin kan o se nkan kan ma re je gbogbo e sha daru beyen beyen wa ni a oju ntun am ashamed am ashamed i told him i said the only thing that is not redeemable is death shame is redeemable shame is redeemable so don't think ah Hey, book book. Wow, Timu Timu. Book book. When you think no, blah blah blah. Forget that one. And so, but they share the cocas the first stone. The only thing that God and man will not despise is a broken heart and a contrite spirit. See, your body, dear, need to get pay. To buy your life, are are you bad? Are we pay? Ah, we can't move the shey. You doubt? We fair change. Fiyoku le. Nkan to ba wè lè nou lò lè sò. En ti o ba dè shè di sè. Ko kas di fò stò. All of us are work in progress. Just don't be rigid. That is my own. If you are rigid, you will be chained. If you are rigid, you will be changed. Call a family meeting. Daddy, e yin tè ti ni. Kouron bi shè mi. O fè jogu mi. E bla la la. Agaga wà to ti e jè kwe. Ani ya wò jè yò kon lò. Itu wa ma gbo gun ti awon mo ti won fe ran ise yin lowo gege bi okunrin e mo nkan temi ma so fun re yin yan beyen te n gbo mi leni ni pe e fun aye yin ni eto e pe family meeting 
e pe family meeting ke wa se nko kan e wa se peace meeting put your house in order emi ma so nko kan boya e de ba mi ro be ni pe bi oju eyan se ri be le yin eyan se ma ri eyin to je pe awon mo ya wo sa la won mo yin e o le gbo bi bi o le gbo si si o le gbo di they are not listening to each other they are fighting each other they are like enemies arc enemies and you are alive sa ma humble yourself have a family meeting i'm talking about attitude i'm talking about change have a family meeting call everybody and say wa to ba je ke se sorry e so sorry to ba ye ke bebe e bebe ti o ba ti e wa se dada tori alaafia nu idile e to ko en bale to je pe to ba nlo sorun bayi o ma smile ni se ko wa sun ke yan se beyan ju pe i can beg anybody i am a head in this house iya eyin na so pe mi le be omo kokan o omo odo na fo gbon se ni hm ara kunrin kan lo wa ba mi pe ma yawo hun se kini kan kini kan kini kan mo wa so fun ni e lo apologize thank god gbo gboran si mi lenu i'm telling you the truth thank god pe o gboran si mi lenu se mo pe mo fe se promotion ni bi se oko e thank god pe ti apologize won ti pari e ipo ton de fe fun mi mo ru se na won ni lo yawo atawon mo ati family member kan no bere bere lowo won pe se ti okunrin ba gba se yi se oko ya bale lati ma sasise imagine eh hey. sheri ma so awon kokon le nikin to ma lo ti mo de fe ka fi kan gbon se mo wi pe olohun lo nikin so pe ko lo be iyawo e okunrin kunrin ki se gbogbo awon okunrin lo n gbe raga o i've seen men that are very humble I was shocked. Hey. The man apologized. We had a peace meeting. They pay for therapy and they were okay. Kuto 3 weeks after. I can't even remember the kind of job that, you know, that the man was going to be given me not some of motion sorry. But what happened? Peace. Peace. The woman recommended him his sibling recommended him his children recommended him egbo ta lo gba owo re pe te nbi se ta na fun promotion ta lo gba ipo se bohun ni eje so to talk of him mo ti sorry lori program and i will say it again your health is your marriage your wealth is your marriage your happiness is your marriage the happiness of your children is your marriage omo eyan to yan ba ti dagba to ti gbo bi gbe yawo wa se ri ni ojo gbo wa se ma ri se omo ti e fun ni ife te fi fe han nu le ti dadi ati mummy gba gbos 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 lojojumo se hm se omo yen se to ba de le oko tabi to ba fe yawo se atoju yawo yen e ma ba mi ro ba tun so loyin bo tori eyin te fe gbo yin bo se iru omo yen la ni ayo nle oko abi nle yawo e ta wa so pe o fe toju yin lojo ogbo ask yourself a question your children are not seeing legacy of peace they are not seeing the legacy of joy they are not seeing hug and kisses they are not seeing mushi mushi loving loving in the family when those children grows up they don't see it in their home growing up would they do that to their wives would they do that to their husbands what will happen at the end of the day very simple they will not be able to repeat a pattern that they don't see it is the negative pattern they saw that they will repeat hook line and sinker that tells you something the price of change cannot be cannot be prized mi mo bi mo se fe soro yen ju be yen lo 
price. Then you need lati pay. Ipo yi pada. Kusin kototo. Kusin yi te yon kosori pe. I'm going to change. I want to have a peace meeting with my children. I want family peace. I want restoration. I want happiness. That is too high. Because of your children. Because of old age. Ewo mi jinyo. Awa koni ya wopopo. We are polygamists. You can still put your house in order. Kusha e yon kile yon fè shengba te yon ti ni ya wujo yon kome jilo. Kule. E kura wopo. E she meeting. Peace meeting. If you can con take consultation from me, I can help you to call everybody, have peace meeting with everybody, and start a life. Before you know it, you'll be shocked that you too, you will have peace of mind that you have changed and your future is colorful. Your old age is restful. Our people have asked me a lot of questions. Let me explain this very well. And when you come to be me, pe, Igba woni ke yon foko e si le. Igba woni ke yon fi ya we si le. In a conference, as a guest speaker, such questions pops up. Especially when I finish talking about marriage, relationship, and all of that. And I always answer them like this. Please hear me. You cannot answer that question in an open conference because different stroke for different folks it is in counseling and in therapy having done your homework talking to the wife talking to the husband it's like going to the hospital i want me to come at the chemist in or for me one for any pain reliever chemist in here lady Wow, 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 speak to control a leg belly, maybe family hospital. To jack pay, you know, malaria and can can want treat it. Wow, lobby. To but in the pay, orientation for any S. M. R. O. N. U. P. Mulo teaching hospital. Or to but jack pay hospital yet da. One nickel loshi test. Teba loshi test. One for a fair mob boom boom. They want to understand what is the reason for consistent sickness. What is the reason for you being consistently in pain? They want to know. The reason why they want to know is that they don't want to be treating sickness on the surface. They want to treat it from the root. That is what we do in answering the question of where should I leave my marriage? What happens? We will trace it. That's my nickname. We'll trace it to face it, erase it, and start replacing it. Now, if I would answer that question generally, I'm going to enter serious trouble because if you don't do tests and you give treatment, that is why we insist on counseling and therapy. And let me tell you the truth. If you don't treat that and you don't do something to it the way I've said it, what will happen is your treatment will not be well done. You will not be well treated and the sickness will not go. Anybody that will treat you physically in your health must go to the foundation of your sickness before the treatment will commence. It's the same with counseling and therapy. That is why I had some women. Oh, Tisumi, I'm packing out. Moulin, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the Ati jakuro nu dile o izi benye o. Awon mo yinko. Ibi tiye ni meji ba ti inja kori kolonji ya. That is what a counselor would do. That is what a therapist would do. They will help you to navigate and discuss that matter. I've seen worst cases. Muti ra wanto ti separate for 14 years. Tonte kwada. Because they were able to get 
a help that is available for them and they listened e wen ti mo so pe ko lo be iyawo e to be ti o ba ti ni gboran igboran san je bo lo we are still talking about change and attitude sheri ti awon eyan ba understand pe he you cannot be rigid for life you can't be rigid permanently you can't say that's my person wo wo ko daru ko daru ah mo ma so nkokan boya kin tun so leni te ba nwa moto lo guru 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 ah e tin sare ju e kam da ere ipo ore mi na pariwo lori program ki driver wa ni kini gan e fi mi le soju accident lo ni who can predict an accident who can predict an accident you can't so if you are speeding hello me ere ere ni marriage ko jade ko le ke ru elo ko leave your my house leave my house get out of my house i'm packing out i'm packing out e ti so dorin awon angel inu awa ba yin phone telu but after divorce have you asked what next how many can survive raising four five children after separation how many can survive raising two three children after divorce how many not even survival financially how can you manage that child that needs daddy to say stop it that need mommy to say daddy has beaten you come let me hold you my dear omo ye jama no die die balanced life in raising your children how many some of us parents are selfish i'm talking about change mo so ni pa pe ka tete ma change ka ma duro soju kan tabi ko ma kuro lodo wa ka ma wa changed or change awo bi agaga oko ati awo mi a selfish ikade la nse e ma binu pe mo soro to strong to yin idi ti mo fi so be ni pe e ro ta won mo yin e ro mo to ma de class ti o ni le concentrate ta joko si class ta ti wo lo fe because it's painful daddy and mommy are fighting you are not thinking of your child that will get into drug addiction into sex addiction to pornography because there is a problem at home you are not thinking it at all you are not thinking it at all stop your selfishness for once and let there be a change let there be peace ko simare to terrible ti o le wa restored if the two parties are willing if you are ready your wife is ready your husband is ready get in touch with me you'll be fine but any company kini mo se gan se bi mo kan gbobirin ni wa lo je ki ma gbobirin to ro ofun se teni kan shin give excuse don't give alibi lori ro lori what is obvious that it is morally wrong it is spiritually wrong it is psychologically wrong it is financially wrong committing adultery and you don't care about your children you don't care about your spouse iru yen oni ba se ma counsel eniyan to ba wo eko lo se to ba won eko lo se nkan to ba wo e i don't want to be saying what i want your man so no aye o tun ni ba se ma gbe yen gba but one thing is sure don't ever ever allow yourself to refuse to change because you are going to be chained you are going to be changed and you are going to regret it in old age ah recently ah ojo ti lo eje sare so ile arabirin kan lo pe mi pe mommy 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 se mo wi pe baba kan ladugbo to n dagbe o lo ji bread 500 naira boya baba yen tin ni dementia baba yen tin dagbe se ibere aye e se bo se ibere ni yen ni ko bere be o make awon decisions kokan o refuse lati change o refuse lati change so is chained o ko lati tun aye e se ngba to ti ri pe ona to n gbe yo da ko tete ja pada ko sa si ko mo hear me every man the main college of ministry we are resuming on the 21st of october 2023 get your pen now and write this number down text us whatsapp us or send a message i want to be part of the men 
school of ministry or men training school from age 18 to 100. As long as you can sit down for three hours, you're welcome. The number to text to voice note to WhatsApp is 090 2010 1080. 090 2010 1080 to join the men's school of ministry. That is the number to text to WhatsApp or to voice note. That is the admission number. I am intentional about what I'm saying on my program because I want to say very big thank you to everyone that have been listening to this program since the beginning. My name is Olufunke Adetubel. On behalf of Dr. Inkajuela Ifele, I want to say very big thank you to everyone for listening. You want counseling, you want family restoration, you are tired of what is going on in your marriage, or you want to just have a peace meeting. This is the number to text me on. Please, I don't pick calls. Kote e funny because I don't pick calls. E ko konsi ba tene jeng be call. I wey yomi otoni koto mama so so. I don't pick calls. Zero eight zero two three two four two three eight nine. Zero eight zero two three two four that's the number to ask me for help, therapy, counseling, 080-232-42389. Once again, I'm so grateful for the gift of access you've given me to your lives. I'll see you next week.